The deadly grip of extreme heat. A critical examination of the heat wave ravaging the United States. The United States is currently in the throes of an extreme heat wave, with temperatures soaring to unprecedented levels, particularly in regions like Las Vegas. This phenomenon is not just a matter of discomfort, but a severe public health crisis with potentially lethal consequences. The vivid imagery of crayons melting in the heat, as captured by the National Weather Service, NWS, underscores the intensity of these conditions. The time-lapse video shared by the NWS on July 10 serves as a stark visual representation of the heat's ferocity. Crayons, which typically melt at temperatures between 120 to 147 degrees Fahrenheit, were observed liquefying rapidly under the sun. This melting crayon video, while seemingly trivial, is a powerful metaphor for the extreme conditions being faced by the residents of Las Vegas and other affected areas. The gooey mess of colored wax serves as a tangible indicator of the heat's severity, making the abstract concept of extreme temperatures more relatable and alarming to the general public. July 10 marked a significant day in Las Vegas, as it recorded its fifth consecutive day of temperatures at or above 115 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the Associated Press, the temperature even soared to an all-time high of 120 degrees over the weekend. John Adair, an NWS meteorologist, emphasized the historical significance of this heat wave, noting that it is the most extreme since record-keeping began in Las Vegas in 1937. This historical context is crucial as it highlights the abnormality and severity of the current weather patterns, suggesting a possible link to broader climate change trends. The extreme heat poses a substantial threat to public health, particularly for vulnerable populations such as children, the elderly, individuals with disabilities, and outdoor workers. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has highlighted the heightened risk of heat-related illnesses and deaths among these groups. The article notes that heat-related fatalities are not confined to a single region, but are occurring across the United States, with at least eight suspected deaths in Oregon and seven in the Washington, D.C. area. This widespread impact underscores the pervasive nature of the heat wave and its capacity to affect diverse populations. One of the most tragic aspects of the heat wave is the occurrence of deaths due to hot car incidents. AccuWeather reports at least nine such fatalities nationwide, including the heart-wrenching case of a two-year-old girl in Arizona. These incidents are stark reminders of the lethal danger posed by high temperatures, especially in confined spaces like vehicles. The DHS has provided several recommendations to mitigate the risk of heat-related illnesses and deaths. Key advice includes staying hydrated while avoiding sugary drinks, remaining in air-conditioned environments, and wearing lightweight, light-colored, and loose-fitting clothing. These measures are essential for reducing the body's exposure to extreme heat and maintaining core body temperature within a safe range. However, the critique lies in the adequacy and accessibility of these recommendations. While they are sound in principle, their implementation may be challenging for certain populations. For instance, access to air conditioning is not universal, particularly among low-income households. Similarly, outdoor workers may find it difficult to stay hydrated and cool while fulfilling their job responsibilities. This gap between recommendations and practical implementation highlights a critical area for policy intervention and support. The article touches on the broader implications of extreme heat, including its intersection with medication use. Certain medications can increase the risk of sunburn, compounding the dangers of heat exposure. This points to the need for comprehensive public health messaging that addresses the multifaceted risks associated with extreme heat. Moreover, the article implicitly raises questions about climate change and its role in exacerbating extreme weather events. While it does not delve deeply into this issue, the unprecedented nature of the current heat wave suggests a need for further investigation and action on climate resilience and mitigation strategies. 
The extreme heat wave gripping the United States is a multifaceted crisis with severe public health implications. The vivid imagery of melting crayons serves as a stark reminder of the heat's intensity, while the record-breaking temperatures in Las Vegas underscore the historical significance of the event. The widespread occurrence of heat-related deaths, particularly among vulnerable populations, highlights the urgent need for effective public health interventions and support. As the nation grapples with this extreme weather, it is imperative to address both the immediate risks and the broader implications for climate resilience and public health infrastructure.